Hi guys, um, so as I said I would, um, in my last video, today I've got the Sideshow Collectibles Commander Luke Skywalker in his Hoth gear. Um, it's a pretty good figure, definitely, um, definitely good value in him, um, as it was $210 um, US with the $20 coupon and then with the ex Australian exchange rate it was um, $275 and I'll get down to, um, to the value shortly. So as you can see, um, pretty good display stand um, the snow detaches from it um, quite easily. Uh, there's some good colouring. I'm not too sure how well the blue um, in that area there shows up on camera, but um, some good. There's some good blue um, tinted into the snow as well, and um, that definitely looks like a rock. And that just goes onto the corner of the stand there. Then you have that. So that's one of the spare hands. Um, yeah, that just continues going around. You can probably see the bluey, the bluey tint um, a bit better in there, and you can see that there's a lot of good texture um, put into it. So overall, a and you can change the side, the snow zone if you want to. So overall, a um, pretty cool display stand. Um, as we know, Sideshow's going with the hexagons now as opposed to the circles. Probably make them fit more evenly in Detoffs, but um, we'll see how that goes when Han gets here um, late next week. Well, hoping late next week. We'll see if that happens. Um, Queensland FedEx, or um, Brisbane FedEx, has been a bit um, slow over the last few days. For example, this Luke figure was at Brisbane Airport from Tuesday, and they didn't um, get it to me until today, which is Thursday, so I'm um, sitting around for two days. Of course, there's probably a logical explanation for that. The hair got here in the end, so all is good. So you can see the um, the detail in the outfit's pretty good. Um, now I know there've been a few complaints about the jacket because when we go to when we go to the we see it says Commander Luke Skywalker. It's got detail there. They've um, photoshopped the lightsaber there to make it look ignited. It's got their standard logo. Um, I'll show off the extra head sculpt, the extra head sculpts um, soon. So it's got um, Disney on there. Similar posing on, similar posing on the back there. The website, and of course we have the binoculars, and him reaching for his blaster. But as you can see, the jacket, pants, and the jacket are clearly a different color on the box. But what a few people have been complaining is that with the figure itself, they are quite close in color. Um, I'm not going to complain too much because about this because generally with um, like the gen the Hasbro figures and whatnot that have all came out over the years, the pants and the vest have always been a similar color, and there are different pictures of Mark Hamill wearing the costume online. Um, there's even a gallery that looks like he had two different jackets 
in the Hoff scenes. Um, similar to what they say with Harrison Ford having two jackets um, on the Hoff scenes too. So, I don't know. Um, the details all there. I know another... I know another complaint was the... Was the rank badge um, sitting in the pocket there? Um, it's not really windowed. Or yeah, I don't know. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't really bother me. Like if you bring it down, you can see about all the detailing, the rank colors, and that is there. Um, I think if they had put this little strip here up a bit more. Um, then it would have looked a bit better, but like you can tell the details there, and they've put effort into that, so that's all right. Um, and yeah, you can see the belt has those extra pouches and whatnot. Um, it's also uh, the binoculars um, have a dirty, real dirty look to them, um, making it look like they're quite old and have been used for a fair while. And I said you get um, the lightsaber turned off and the lightsaber ignited. Um, as you can see, they've changed the way they do the lightsabers. Normally, it's just a clear piece of plastic, but here they've actually frozen or well um, molded glitter um, into it to give it a more of a, a beam energy look to it. And, um, and there's the blaster. So um, overall, the head sculpt's looking pretty good. I'll just added some extra lighting there, um, so you just so you get rid of that shadow. As you can see, yeah, it looks like um, it looks like a pretty good likeness to Mark Hamill there, um, and you can always um, bring down the goggles. Now, why I said this is such good value is because it's like I said, it's it's two ten US or two seventy five Australian, but if you get it straight from Sideshow, you get three head sculpts. And if you get it from Australia, you still get second one. So I'll go over those. So yeah, um, as you can see, the heads, the um, extra head sculpt is real good. Um, has a bit of, I guess, more facial um, expression features than the, previ um, than the previous one did. The headgear, you see, has been fully removed. Um, it's definitely a good likeness to Hamill, and probably makes the figure um, well worth getting. If you didn't want, if you didn't want to use the previous one, and just like I said, um, you can put the goggles down to have him riding the tong tong. So yeah, um, that's that one, and on to the. F so yeah, um. I just add the lighting there again, just so you can um, get rid of the get rid of the dark darkness there. But um, this is the this is the battle damaged um, sideshow exclusive head sculpt you get. Um, I just swapped out the hands as well because that's um, probably the hand that you can picture him. Um, Stretching out, reaching for Ben when he sees Ben in the snow, all um, when he's all hurt. Um, I will say the prototype probably had a bit more um, bruising around the eyes, but overall, I reckon it's a pretty good head sculpt, and it does add um, does add value to the figure, especially if they. Um, I mean, I don't think they would, but if they did a polystone or even a Posable Wumper, um, it would be um, good to pose Luke up against, like that, I guess. Um, yeah, it's a good, good head sculpt. Um, it originally sold out, but I think they had a few more to sell, so um, best get in while you can for that. If you want to take, um, want to take advantage of getting three head sculpts. Um, I will also say that there is in the box there are two little um, two little silver pegs um, 
that you can that you are meant to attach to the helmet here. One for this head sculpt and one for the other head sculpt. Um, I didn't attach it because I was scared I'd lose it or whatever, and they are real small. So I just um, kept them in the box at the moment. And the scarf comes all the way down um, on this figure too. It just drapes behind him there. So like I said, um, real good figure, real good value. Uh, now I said I would have, um, at this stage it looks like I'll probably have Han this time or Friday next week. It's if FedEx are real reliable. Um, probably the BB Monday week at the very at the very latest, but um, I do have one other figure coming, um, which I'm not going to reveal until it gets here. So, um, yeah, special, um, special order that one. So, just um, keep your eyes posted for that. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you um, hope you enjoyed the loot, the loot. The look at Luke.